Some people claim that eating acidic food can help you giving birth to a baby girl. Do you believe in that? Okay, now this is our human karyotype. A karyotype is basically a picture showing the whole set of chromosomes in an organism. And remember, in humans, we have 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes. 23 chromosomes come from our father and another 23 chromosomes come from our mother. The first 22 pairs here are what we call the autosomes and these autosomes carry a large amount of genes that determine a lot of characteristics of the life and the last 23rd pair we called it a pair of sex chromosomes the longer one is the x chromosome while the shorter one is the y chromosome if you have two X chromosomes, then you will be a female. If you have a X chromosome and a Y chromosome, you will be a male. And this is how our sex is determined. There are some atypical sets of sex chromosomes, such as XXY, XO, XXX, XYY. People with these sets of chromosomes may have different forms of abnormalities in their development. However, I'm not going to discuss in this video. Now, lastly, let's draw a genetic diagram to find out the chance of having a boy or a girl. Is it really the food that determines whether we have boy or girl? Let's have a look on the genetic diagram. So this is a male and this is a female. It is a male, one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. For a female, which must be X, X or two X chromosomes. They cross together. The type of gametes that can be formed from the father will be either the X sperm or the sperm carrying the Y chromosome. For the mother, only X chromosome will be carried in their eggs. After drawing all these, you will find that half of the offspring will be female while half of the offspring will be male. It is in a one-to-one -one ratio. Those people who claim that the diet may affect the sex of the babies believe that acidic food or alkali food can actually provide a more favorable environment to either the sperm carrying the X chromosome or the sperm carrying the Y chromosome. Mm, personally, I do not really believe in that. How about you? Do you believe the diet can control gender or the sex of the offspring? Let me know. By the way, X chromosomes and Y chromosomes do not have the same amount of genes. So the longer X chromosome, they carry more genes that are important for the survival of human. Or the Y chromosome carry less genes. In other words, without the X chromosome, it is impossible for a person to survive. Okay, now let's look at this karyotype. Does it belong to a male or a female? Let me know your answers in the comments. So that's it. Goodbye class.